Yo, what's going on guys? It's JT Judgment here and welcome back to the channel today for another FIFA 17 Legend review. And we've got a big one today, guys. We have got one of the elite legends in Ultimate Team, the 89 rated Liberian striker, George Weah. But guys, before I get into this review, I do need to mention a few things, one of which is I want to give a massive shout out and say a massive thank you to the boy that was nice enough to let me use his account to do this review. A link will be in the description down below, taking you to his account, guys. If you followed that link, went over, said a massive thank you, guys. That would be awesome. I'd really, really appreciate it. The other thing I want to mention, guys, is if any of you guys are looking to pick up some Xbox or PlayStation calls or maybe some PC games, I'll leave a link to cdkeys.com in the description down below, guys. They've got plenty of stuff to give out. I definitely recommend checking those guys out. All right, guys, so when it comes to stats with George Weah, the sort of stats you're getting on the card, 93 pace, 85 dribbling, 87 shooting, 77 passing, 44 defending and 81 on the physical. You look at his in-game stats, guys. 93 on the composure, acceleration and sprint speed. So there's three 93 stats there. Absolutely fantastic to see. 89 jumping, 90 finishing, 91 on the free kicks, 89 shot power and 86 on the dribbling. So some fantastic stats there, guys. So what did I think of him, guys? Well, for those of you that have used George Weah in this game, you pretty much know exactly what I am going to say, right? George Weah, absolutely fantastic fantastic you use a player of his rating his price and the sort of stats that he has on the card you pretty much know that in game he is going to be an absolutely fantastic player I mean I didn't really find any surprises with this card you know looking at his card there weren't anything with this card that I found bad that I was expecting to be good uh, and vice versa I didn't find anything good that I was expecting to be very very bad with him in game now when it comes to the weaknesses and strengths the strength I will go through second because there's not that many weaknesses guys as you would expect uh, that I did find with this card his weak foot and passing those are the only things with this card that I found to be a consistent weakness uh, his weak foot was it was just really bad you know he was constantly hitting the post for me I guess you could say I was getting very very unlucky there but the amount of times that he got inside the box got so close to the goal all I should have to have done was just tap the B button and it was pretty much a guaranteed goal you know you get into those situations where all you have to do is just finesse it round the goalkeeper is pretty much a guaranteed goal every single time when I used his weak foot to try and finish those plays off he just constantly hit the post for me guys so very very frustrating it's only a three star I gotta say it felt a lot worse for me like that in game and his passing like I said is the only other weakness he just seemed to give the ball away you know I was running through I could see my wingers running right past way you know all I had to do press the Y button to play the ball through and he hit either hit the ball not not hard enough or he hit the ball too hard you know I, I always put the right amount of power in the passes but he just seemed to give the ball away all the time so keep in mind guys something if you are thinking of buying this card for yourself but when you think of it guys passing if you are using a player like George Weah it's most likely that you're going to want to be scoring goals with Weah you know you don't want to be buying a player with stats like he has just so he can pick up assists no you want him to be your game changer you want him to be the person that scores goals for you on a regular basis and I can tell you guys right now George Weah done that so freaking easily for me there are certain players in this game that have the ability to just run through teams you know you just get them on the ball you can just sprint through teams a combination of the pace of the player and the mistakes your opponents make because when you have someone like George Weah running at your defense you tend to panic you know you don't know if you should do a certain thing with your defender because if you muck up then it's just going to pretty much guarantee a goal for the opponent that has the player running at your defense you know and obviously in this case that being George Weah so that just made it so freaking easy guys to score goals with him you'll see loads of examples uh, in this video guys his pace obviously does play a massive massive part in that 93 pace on the card he felt like it in game guys as soon as I found a little bit of space with this card flicked the right stick so that he kicked the ball in front of them and he was gone guys you know it was very very easy to see that my opponent defense they just couldn't catch him you know again something you're going to see in the goals that I did score with Weah as you will see uh, in this video now the other things that I did like pretty much everything else guys like I said the only things that I didn't like is weak foot and passing everything else with this card was fantastic his dribbling and ball control uh, was awesome for me he kept the ball very very close to his feet now I used him in the sniper chemistry style guys which obviously boosts shooting and dribbling didn't really see the need to boost any anything else guys his physical 
physical stat was high enough, his pace stat is obviously high enough, and I am definitely what you would call a pace or in this game, guys. But when it comes to someone like Weya, he already has enough pace, guys. There really isn't any point in sticking a chemistry style on him that boosts his pace up even more, simply due to the fact that he is going to be fast enough anyway in game. So his sniper chemistry style boosts him up from 85 dribbling to 94 dribbling and 87 shooting to 93 shooting. Those stats are absolutely fantastic to have. But like I was saying, guys, dribbling with this card was fantastic. Obviously, that sniper chemistry style did come into play a little bit as well. So that really, really did help. His dribbling for me was fantastic. His shooting for me with his right foot was awesome as well finishing inside the box was awesome his shooting from outside the box is awesome as well i think the goals will show you exactly uh, what this boy can do you get this boy in the box if you use his right foot guys judging from what he was like for me it's pretty much a guaranteed goal if you get him on his right foot his strength for me was awesome as well he's got 84 strength in game and obviously that 81 physical stat on the card and they did not lie guys they did not disappoint for me uh, in game he was holding his own and he was the sort of player that it did take quite a bit uh, to muscle him off the ball so something that you really don't need to worry about in my opinion with this card he's a striker with the perfect work rate as well high attacking low defensive so that's exactly what you want to see in a striker guys pretty much know that he's always going to be in the right place at the right time and that's exactly what I experienced with this card he was always making runs at the right time and he was always getting in position guys to do as much damage for me to score as much goals as possible so his positioning for me was fantastic as well his aerial ability for me was fine as well and he's also got the four star skills to top it off guys so if you are a skiller in this game then that's just something that's just going to make you love using this card even more going to make you able to score some fantastic looking goals that is for damn sure so bottom line guys i got to give this card a 9.9 .9 out of 10 george weyer for me was absolutely fantastic if you do have the amount of coins needed to pick him up then i highly recommend you do it i know he goes for a lot of coins guys but when it comes down to it if you want the best in the game they're always going to cost a hell of a price guys so it's it's something that you're going to have to do you know to get yourself your hands on the best cards in the game so that's my opinions guys on george weyer in fifa 17 ultimate team if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to smash the like button down below and subscribe today if you want to see more content to come from myself very soon and as always guys most importantly please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys